Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. Today's video, we're going to be featuring the update and a little bit of a discussion and unit review um, after we discuss all the things for the update for October 17. So there is a um, new content event. And to start it off, we have a new episode. Uh, number one, Unbreakable Flowers, Event Missions, and ship a Shop Unlock. Okay, number two would be your new ship, which is Albion, and it will be released tomorrow as well. Number three, we have new gameplay. Yes, guys, we have Shadow Palace 4. I was actually expecting this December, but, you know, Christmas came early and we have it tomorrow. And also a challenge mode, act number three unlocked as well. So a lot of things to do tomorrow, guys, a lot of things to feature um, please um, stay tuned for my guide for Shadow Palace. Um, free to play as much as possible. Um, number four is going to be your new challenges. The Alt Squad is here and Chloe's credit search unlocked as well. Number five, skins. So new wedding March skins released. So Rosario Lefried and Veronica. So Timing Veronica is going to be um, uh, out tomorrow as well. And she gets her wedding skin. So um, I'll take a look at that tomorrow and see if it's worth the purchase. Number six is going to be a tenderness wedding thank you gift. Also for tomorrow. Number seven is nor new rec normal recruitment. Uh, Veronica probability up. So this is what we're getting tomorrow. Um, after this, I'm going to do a review with Veronica and with Albion. But before that, we have number eight, normal recruitment as well. So th these are um, rerun banners that you might want to get un unless if you have them. Um, it's going to be Shaolin and Sigma return. Number nine is going to be added tuning binary special packages set binary special packages eternium special package info special package and lifetime contract special package a lot of packages guys so number 10 is going to be danger close again a new season starts so do get on with that tomorrow and the last in the update is going to be number 11 buff gear tuning precision set options change credit discount plus 20. Okay, so that is it uh, for the update tomorrow. A lot of things to do tomorrow and look forward to my other videos for tomorrow. But now we're not done yet. We're going next to our employee guide to see if um, these new unit ships are actually good. So we have here Albion. So it's an SSR cruiser. Okay, so Albion is actually used as um, as a assault ship or a rush ship for rush teams. Okay, so passive generates a barrier around an ally equals to 12% of their max HP, 16% for pride when institution units. Skill fires an improved visually disruptive missile, adding stealth and greatly increases evasion to ally units within a selected range for 8 seconds. Affects damage on enemies. Uh, inflicts damage on enemies, levitates them for a moment, and decreases their hit by 99%. Definitely for, for rush teams. Ultimate is fires a deadly iron condenser at enemies, levitating them with knockback. Um, decreases affected enemies' incoming healing by 100 for 15 seconds as well. Immediate impact on the meta for this uh, ship. Um, gonna be top tier for PvP. Um... Personally, I don't use that much rush components, but definitely I'm scared of this one. This is going to be a game changer for those of you guys out there who are actually into rush teams for counter side. Um, this is going to help your game out tremendously. Okay, he this ship, uh, sorry, this ship, not sheep. This ship is actually um, not. Uh, not the I'm not I'm not gonna say not used, but it's rarely used in PvP. So future proofness is currently good to go in PvP ship in KR for rush comps. Okay, so is is it worth building? So if you are, you know, if you are particularly a player which has a rush component for PvP, then this is a must for you. Um for those who are playing PvP but not are not into rush teams, um you might have to think it over depending on your priorities. 
definitely if you're not into pvp guys um do not um get get this ship especially if you're um free to play and you actually mostly do pve and do not concentrate so much in pvp okay so um also another uh, note here um you will need uh, to unlock the recipe you will need to clear act three of challenge mode so those are the tips to um, acquire Albion. Next is going to be our new unit. So we have here Veronica. Again, Veronica, another striker. We've had a lot of strikers um, come our way already. The last um, new banners are strikers. Um, and um, again, another striker in our hands. So this is a four cost striker for, for Veronica. So she's a Berserker type. Um, she is similar to Alex. I remember Alex, the, the previous one. Um, and she gets stronger as her HP gets, you know, go, goes down. So, but she has more, more oomph than Alex because of her immortality when her HP goes down to one. But again, that's a buff. Um, she can, you know, we can debuff the, that. But again, that is still a tremendous buff to have. Okay, for KR PvP score, she is actually a 9 out of 10. She's great in some stages. Um, that's PvE, um, but not really otherwise. Um, again, she's going to be good in PvE, but not really a game changer. Okay, so... Um, she is going to be useful more in PvP, which she's actually scoring a 9. Actually, 9 PvE, 9 in PvP. But again, I see her, you know, I see she's going to be more frequently used in uh, PvP. So again, the buff of hers for Im Immortality is going to be, uh, again, another headache to deal with. Uh, for those of you who are actually are uh, climbing up pvp so is she worth pulling for future proof yes definitely um definitely try to pull for her i only have around 30 30 employment contracts and i hope i'll get her from there i'm not sure i'm not really sure if i'm gonna get her there but hopefully i can okay basic attack fires a shotgun knocking enemies backwards with aoe damage um that's her basic attack so knockback and aoe her passive she her body auto automatically performs her skills from the past as she nears death um her attack is actually is up by 50 percent inverse to her proportion sorry inverse proportion to her hp so as her hp goes down her attacks goes up okay that, that is actually just a simple explanation at skill level 5, damage resistance is a plus 30% for 12 seconds when she is deployed. So take note of that. Burstinger, special 20 seconds, charges forward, pushes targets as she goes, and then fires a shotgun, inflicting AoE damage. At skill level 5, valid hits is a plus 1 true skill damage during Rasta Blasta buff. Okay, last is her ultimate. Uh, sorry. Last is uh, Rasta, Rasta, Rasta passive. This is her passive or ultimate? Not sure. She has two passives. Oh, okay, she's a soldier. Sorry, forgot about that. Um, she's a soldier, by the way. So good for soldier comms as well. So I failed to mention that, and she's for cost. So I alt I actually just uh, assume that she is a counter, but again, good news for soldier comes out there so again she has two passives rasta brasta her loyalty towards her master helps her defy death gains immortality for seven seconds which is a long time guys when her hp drops to one percent or lower and delivers enhanced basic attack during immortality at skill level five buff duration is a plus three seconds enhanced basic attack and valid hits an additional plus one so that is it guys that is what we have for tomorrow's update so looking forward to pull for veronica despite 30 um tickets um that will be a pain if i don't get her in 30 but hopefully crossing my fingers i could get her tomorrow so again new ship new unit new events a lot of surprises and a lot of guides for you tomorrow guys in terms of counter side hope that you you know 
um take a look at that and also guys for those who are here and have not subscribed yet please do subscribe because this helps my channel a lot and also guys don't forget to click that bell icon while you're subscribed and also don't forget to like this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here